All right, let's uh, get uh, get over to the uh, National League, and we'll start with the NL East. Uh, I like Washington, the Nationals, the Mets, and then again, uh, toss-up Braves, Marlins, Phillies. I don't uh, see any of them uh, challenging. The uh, Washington had a nice winner. They uh, they uh, added uh, Adam Eaton, uh, Derek Norris, st re-signed Stephen Drew, uh, re-signed uh, Chris Hinsley. Um, and they, uh, they might be in, a, in, in, in trouble when it comes to closing. They lost their closer. I think he signed with the Giants. Um, so that could be a problem. But I like, um, I like Washington. Um, and uh, like I say, the Mets with uh, Cespedes back and they re-signed Neil Walker. I, I think the Mets have a, a pitching problems. I mean, they, they've got a lot of good arms there. With, a lot of their pitchers have good arms and bad heads. <laughs> Uh, you but know, great hair. Great hair. Great hair, bad heads. Uh, the Mets could, uh, you know, uh, you never know what you're going to get. But I, I, I just like the uh, the uh, Nationals, Mets, uh, and uh, Braves, Marlins, and Phillies in the uh, East. Um, I actually went with the Mets actually on top, actually over the Nationals. Um, I do like the Cindergarten, DeGrom, Harvey, uh, you know, if Harvey can stay healthy. Yeah. Um <laughs> Uh, I actually think they're, uh, you know, I, we can't get all chalky here. You know, I think you got to take some, some chances. And I don't know if this is a big guess, but I, I mean, I took the Mets over Washington. I think Donnie Baseball might get the Miami Marlins going a little bit. You um, got them going last year, pretty yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I th got them in third, and then Philly and Atlanta um, to, to finish it out. You but didn't uh, lost that, that tremendous pitcher. That boating action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jose yeah. Fernandez, right? Yeah. Is that Marlins, yeah. The Marlins could be challenging in the East. Right? Yeah, horrible for, for Miami. And then, you know, keep D. Gordon off the juice. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, he missed a lot of games because of that uh, suspension. Um, yeah. But he was having a great year. Uh, but again, you know, was that a, a result of, uh, of the performance-enhancing drugs or was it um really where he's headed so we'll see he's the big key for miami um but for me it's the nationals and the mets at the very top i, I went back and forth about this i think i think it's going to be the nats uh, but the mets are good i mean i i think um you know i'm going to stay with the chalk with the nationals but the mets and the, that staff you know with harvey and syndergaard and degrom and they're, they're throw hard you know you're going to hopefully get a lot of innings at least out of those two degrom and syndergaard and, um, you know, uh, the bullpen needs some shoring up. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they, you know, they get, they get somebody to, to, yeah. to step in and they'd be right there with the Nats. I, I, I can see that. I definitely have the Mets as my top wild card uh, pick out of, yeah, out of the national league. 